have exciting news. We have a new little family member come in to join us at this farm. And why don't you tell everyone what we discovered about Jack? You guys sent in a ton of comments for us. The one that we chose was from Morning everyone. Pretty nice out for fall. We were thinking it was going to be super cold, but it's a nice crisp morning. is coming along really nicely. We've now got the roof cap in there. The next thing we have to do is just outfit the inside here. We are working quickly because our chickens aren't too happy. Normally they would be free ranging, but the last week they have had to stay inside. We have had a lot of fox attacks, coyote attacks here. We had three actually, so the first one Fox came middle of the day right through the paddock and tried to bite Duke. Jack kicked it and chased it off. It did circle back around to come for the chickens, but Julia was armed with her hockey stick in front of that coop, ready to protect Jeannie and Maui and her other chickens. So the fox, we were able to scare it off. A few days later, I was out gardening. I was doing the bath and it came and it got wombly, unfortunately. So it was heartbreaking for us. We get super attached to our chickens, which I realize is not maybe a farmer thing to do. He did try and come back again for more chickens, but the wild turkeys had just come into the hay field as he was approaching and he grabbed one of them instead. So we were sad for them as well because they're Buddy's family, the wild turkeys. My biggest concern with the coyotes is that they're like they're not afraid. They have all this forest and field, but instead they choose to stalk around our house. Like they come right up to the house. You can see their prints. And the only reason we can see this right now is because we had a huge storm the other day. I can't see it with the lighting, but it is bigger than the size of my palm. So the stride length of this animal from the back paw to the last front paw that went down, nine and a half of my booted feet going down. So it was obviously running, I'm assuming, because that's like a big stretch. So it's just paw prints in the mud. It concerns me with the kids. I mean, Julia especially is still smaller and I know that they don't normally attack kids, but not far from us, there's been cases of attacks on children like in their backyards in town and at a park so it does happen we will see tracks in the winter with the snow you will see them all around the house like they come right across our front steps we've been doing a lot of research and what we can see is that for all of the different things for fox and coyote livestock guardian dogs tend to be the number one recommended thing to actually deter them from coming up to the house. We're on a forest and I mean, they belong in the forest. So I don't have an issue with them at all being in the forest. It's, this is their place to live. And I get that they're only trying to survive and get food. More my issue is that one, I don't want them eating my chickens and my pets, but the ones when they kill for the food, I have an easier time with that. But when they kill them just for the enjoyment of killing it and then they don't even eat it. I have such a hard time with that. Let's be real, I've got a hard time with it anyway. So we found a farm. They are in Ontario here and they are selling some livestock guardian dogs, Great Pyrenees. So we are getting one of them. They are one of the most ancient breeds. They will bond very closely to the animals that they are watching and he is gonna be guarding our chickens horses, as well as our dogs. They keep them for 10 to 12 weeks so that they get maximum exposure with the working parents so that they can really see everything there is to know about being a guard dog. This is our little guy and he is gonna be home with us in the beginning of November. Our nieces are down for the weekend and they wanted to see some goats and pigs so we're off to our friends to visit their farm.
Aren't they so cute? Let me get this one. Yeah, tell you. I, okay, <laughs> we have another page. Next up is a little riding with Jack and Stevie. He's like, let me run you into a fence real quick. I'm sure you'd appreciate that. What we <laughs> discovered about Jack, that he's not actually lazy. Or when Julia was riding him, he was taking off with her. What did we figure out? It's us. <laughs> yeah, when, so he was trained that when you lean forward and give him his head and put a little bit of leg on to canter, so because Julia s sits forward, like whenever she rides, he kind of just took that as a, oh, you want me to canter? Okay. We put this so western rides. saddle on him, and Kate leaned a bit forward. When she gives him his head like that, he'll actually take off even from a standstill. What kind of riding is that? What? Why are you like cutting corners all over? You're like... Oh, I'm not. That's him. I'm well, so steer him. He's trying to buff. I'm just trying to stay off. So this is what we're talking about. That was weird. I lost both my stirrups this time. Do you help? Well, so maybe you need to make them shorter. No, because then it throws me off balance. Yeah, you just have a hard time riding in the Western, eh? I don't like Western. I love the Western saddle. No, I like, like Julia's stirrups on Western is how I feel comfortable. Yeah, Which you, is like you like, this. yeah. <laughs> Guy's like, I want to run. Okay. It's cold this morning. Yesterday we were in t-shirts and so hot, or the other day, two days ago, I guess. And today, freezing. Are you feeling into Kanto? Yeah, I am. Okay. We started riding Jack and Stevie together in the ring and they ride really well together. And Julia's doing so good on Stevie. Your heel needs to go further back. I know, it's because I realized, no, no, my heels are forward. Yeah. Not so stir up, I always do in Western. A hundred times. Hi, buddy. You like the Western saddle better?
So we thought the comment that we would feature this week, you guys sent in a ton of comments for us and we loved reading them. And the one that we chose was from Carrie Wybrow. And she wrote, very well done folks. Kate is a fine rider and Jack looked good. Shows can often get animals amped up, but you folks handled it. Awesome work. Show name suggestion. Jack be nimble from the poem, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. And Julia loved it, right? Yeah. So that is the show name that she wants to use is Jack be nimble. So thanks Carrie for your suggestion and we can't wait to use it at a show. Thank you. So if you guys want a chance to have your comment featured, go ahead and drop one in the comments below and maybe you will be on our next episode. Thanks again, and we can't wait to see you next time. Before you go, make sure you hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell if you wanna check out videos of our new puppy coming and the horses and just life on the farm. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Barn Boots and Country Roots.